This video talks about pneumocytes. If you want to follow along with me, you can do so by going to page 559, first aid. Now, let's first talk about the histology of the respiratory system. Um, so until the respiratory bronchioles, uh, and we talked about that until the terminal, until the terminal bronchioles, it's a conducting zone, until the respiratory, when the respiratory bronchioles starts, you know, that is not the conducting zone anymore. That, that, that's the beginning of the respiratory zone. So there is another kind of division there. So until the respiratory bronchioles, we are going to have pseudostratified, ciliated, columnar, epithelium. So there are going to be cilia, they're going to be pseudostratified, they're going to be columnar epithelium until the respiratory bronchioles. What about goblet cells? Until when do we have goblet cells? Is it going to extend until the respiratory bronchioles? Not really. Goblet cells end up until, uh, until it reaches the bronchi, okay? Until bronchi we're going to see goblet cells and what's going to happen is it's going to push the mucus upwards um, and the, by the ciliated columnar epithelium of the of the entire respiratory tract uh, the cilia is going to push the goblet uh, cell secretions upwards into the mouth so that's uh, our histology until respiratory bronchioles but what about histology beyond respiratory bronchioles so beyond respiratory bronchioles we're going to go to the alveoli Okay, and in the alveoli, we are going to see type 1 cells. Type 1 cells are also called type 1 pneumocytes. Okay, type 1 pneumocytes. And there is also another type of pneumocyte, that's type 2 pneumocytes. How are they different um, from each other? Type 1 pneumocytes is actually uh, squamous in nature. These are squamous cells, okay? And once I show you the picture, you'll see uh, the shape of the squamous cell of the type 1 pneumocytes. Type 2 pneumocytes are really, um, these are the reserve cells, okay? These cells have the ability to become type 1 or type 2 when there is cellular or lung damage. So during lung damage, the type 2 pneumocytes are a lot more active and they are going to... Uh, you know they are going to be turned they're going to turn in self, they can turn in itself into type 1 or type 2 uh, pneumocytes now type 1 pneumocytes makes 97% of the alveolar wall type 2 pneumocytes makes only 3% of the alveolar wall another thing about type 2 is that i told you that type 1 is squamous type 2 is going to be cuboidal okay these are going to be cuboidal cells type 2 pneumocytes also secretes uh, lecithin, lecithin and sphingomyelin, right? Um, which, is, um, which is necessary for maximal um, decrease in surface tension so that the lungs can inflate very, very easily. So those secretions are secreted by the type 2 pneumocytes. Now, often uh, the questions come with pictures and histology, and we have to be able to recognize uh, the histology of type 1 and type 2. We can see that here in this case, first of all, let's look at the, uh, uh, the diagrammatic one. Um, I cannot make it bigger, right? So you can see in this diagrammatic picture, I'm going to make it a little bigger. Uh, the type 1 pneumocytes are kind of, you know, we can see that the squamous epithelium, we can see there are flattened cells in the diagram, and the cuboidal one, the type 2 pneumocytes, uh, we can see that they are, you know, more rounder in shape. Those are the cuboidal cells. So this is from a diagrammatic point of view. Now let's look at from the point of view of, uh, of a real histology. So we can see on the picture on the right, we can see that the type 1 pneumocytes are here and here. And they're kind, they're very flat and very easy to see. And type two pneumocytes are m very much uh, circular in shape or cuboidal in shape, which which is quite obvious. Another picture, we can see that uh, we have the type two pneumocytes here and here, very much round. Um, and type one pneumocytes are very much flattened, and it's almost hard to miss it. Okay, and there is also some cell that they're mentioning here, which is the dust cell or the Clara cells, and I'm going to talk about that. In talk about that in a bit. Before that, I want to talk about the macrophages. Look how black these macrophages look. 
in the pictures, right? I mean, they can be distinctly different from the type 1 and type 2, and oftentimes they will show macrophages, and we can see the macrophages in this particular picture. So that's the histology of type 1 and type 2, type 1 and type 2 uh, pneumocytes. Now, last of all, we have the Clara cells. Oops. The Clara cells are made up of columnar epithelium. Okay? Clara cells are made up of columnar epithelium, and they, they do a couple of things. They secrete surfactant, they detoxify uh, toxins, and uh, they also recruit something called CCSP or Clara cell secretory protein, which is going to, which has the ability to. So the CCSP, the Clara cell secretory protein, uh, has uh, releases uh, this protein, and this protein has a very similar component uh, as the surfactant. This is very similar to surfactant. Uh, so we have seen the clarosols in the pre previous uh, picture. So those are the uh, clarosols, and they're made up of columnar epithelium. Now let's do a quick review of different kinds of cells we have seen. So until bronchi, we saw what kind of cell? We saw um, goblet cells. Goblet cells are present until bronchi. Until um, respiratory bronchioles, we saw we had ciliated, pseudostratified, ciliated columnar epithelium. Okay, we saw columnar epithelium. And then we saw type 1 pneumocytes. So, type 1 pneumocytes was squamous epithelium. Type 2 pneumocyte was cuboidal epithelium. And in the end, we saw clara cells. This clara cells was also columnar epithelium. Okay? There is only one more thing I want to talk about in this section. Now, before I talk about that, I want to uh, mention that I may have mistakenly mentioned that the dust cells are clara cells. No, the dust cells are really alveolar macrophages. Okay, uh, that's just a correction from pre uh, from the previous point. So, anyways, uh, moving on to uh, the next point I want to talk about, and the next point I want to talk about is going to be about clearance, okay? Clearance. If what if a particle is a certain size, it's going to be cleared by what substance? Is it going to be cleared by cilia or is it going to be cleared by macrophage? If a substance, um, if a substance size falls between 2.5 to 10 micrometer, these are going to be cleared by cilia, okay? They're going to be big enough to be swept up by the cilia. But if it's less than 2.5 okay, micrometer, then that is going to be cleared by macrophages. I know it's a little anal and it's a little detailed, but believe me, there are questions on this, uh, on, on the size aspect. So that's, uh, that's how I would con conclude my, uh, my discussion on pneumocytes.